mess up my hair. Welcome back to Whatever Garage. Today we're going to continue in our episodes of fixing all the little things that are wrong on this Corvette, the 81 Corvette. And at the end of last episode, I forgot to mark anything off. So let's go back and see if we can. I know we get to add a lot of stuff. The steering box, no. Uh, oil pan gasket, no. Uh, head gasket, no. Collector gaskets, no. Wire up electric fan, no. Distributor gasket, no. Oil pressure sender, no. Replace braided fuel or braided vacuum lines, no. Okay, so we don't get to mark anything off. We did address the oil pan gasket by dropping the oil pan and taking the old one off and then ordering a new one. So hopefully we'll be able to show you that Monday. So let's start another one and go to number 11. Oh, we will, okay. We went paint, oil pan. We did. How's about that? Um, oh yeah. Paint, headers. We did that. Okay, that's all we did. But that took a while. Cause just taking that oil pan off took me half a damn day. I know that's pretty sad, isn't it? All right, today we're gonna crack into that motor. So let's get started. First, I wanna show you my paint job. How does that look? Butamus, is it not? Butamus. Now, normally I tell you what kind of paint I use and I forgot. I love this stuff. This is the VHT epoxy paint, meant for suspension parts. Love this stuff, been using it for years. Covers well, it's hard to come off. I mean, it lasts a while. Here's the heart of the car. She does not look pretty. She's a little rusty, but she's gonna look good after this, all right? So we're gonna start off, I'm thinking, sorry. I'm just trying to figure out if I wanna get the top dead center first. I think I do. I think I do. I think I wanna roll it over and get it on top dead center first. Let's do that. All right, went ahead and got her at top dead center. Let's see if I can get y'all to see it. I probably could have done that anytime. I just knew it needed to be done, so I figured I'd start there. That way I can double check my distributor. All right. Also took the alternator out, alternator bracket out. Just going ahead and making room. Now we're gonna take the uh, carburetor off next and then the distributor. All right, everybody. I would like to take this opportunity for y'all to welcome Toby back to the channel. Toby the cameraman, yay. All right, now he's my little mechanical thing that sort of follows me as I move. He got fired for pissing me off before because it wasn't working right. So we're gonna give him a second chance. All right, we got the carburetor off. Now we're going to take, I still need to drain the, um, the radiator. We didn't do that yesterday. So let's shift gears over here to all of this crap. Because as you know, I don't have to say it again, I hate, the, I hate these braided hoses. So we are gonna remedy that problem Sorry, Toby, I gotta get in your workspace here. And we are going to redo all these lines. With just regular hose. <gasps> Excuse me, got the hiccups. Don't like the way it is anyway. It St sits up in the way. I feel like it should be like down and over. That's my opinion. Add it to the table of, hey, Toby, move. Toby. See, this is why you got fired last time. Says he's on. Yes, I look stupid doing this, I know. There we go. What happened, buddy? No. You anticipated. Hey, over here. 
Follow me. There you go. Come on, keep going. Yeah. A little aggravating. Maybe the light's getting in his way. Let's do this. Let's turn it. Let's see if that helps. Maybe. All right, what other stupid stuff can I get off of here right now? All right, finish getting the rest of these lines. That one's for the transmission vacuum line. What happened? See, when I, oh, see, he got confused. Hey, I'm right here. There you go. When I step away behind the hood, he gets confused. I really want a different intake, but that's not in the budget right now. I blew the budget for the month on parts, and it's what, February 3rd? Oh boy, these lines are tough. Ah. All right. Oh damn, that looked chewed off. Try and keep them in some sort of order because I gotta rebuild all this when uh well, hell, that one was loose. Did I do that? I don't remember. And this is the check valve here for the headlights and wipers. We know it works because the headlights work. I just need to replace that one. Um, what is it called? Actuator. That one actuator has problems. Don't do that. Make me nervous. See, this braided line is rusted. So it was a, a cheap knockoff. I'm trying to do this without popping my hand on something. <sighs> Let me tell you, doing this, I'm warming up quick. It's supposed to be cooler today, but not by much. You northerners would, uh, love today's temperatures it's not gonna be in the 60s but it's gonna be close to 60. well hell that wasn't in there very well was it for now until i get back over to the other side i don't want to interrupt toby all right let's take that off this has some cheap brackets i'm gonna have to get another one a little easier to keep up with it and this intake has a Chevrolet emblem on it. So I'm assuming this is factory. That's an assumption. You guys let me know. I don't know. I am just guessing. All right. Now, you know what? Let's pop the cap off. I really want to see which way the distributor's pointing. This car runs great. I just need to give it a hair more timing. Get her a little peppier. There we go. All right, guys, we're making a little progress. I had a question though. You got these little mounts, the engine lifting mounts, still were in place, one in the back and there's still one in the front. Do y'all leave yours on there or do you take them off? I, I personally don't want them on here. Um, the only difference is I'm gonna have to get shorter bolts because the ones I put on there were longer to make up for the difference and now they're dead ending. Um, I was just curious what y'all's uh, opinion is on that. But we had the distributor out. Um, here, let me show you. If you look back here, you can see where it was leaking. And obviously had been for a while. She's quite the mess back here. So we will clean that up. Um, these are aluminum heads. These are not the factory heads, okay? I do know that, but I do believe that is a factory intake. And I do not like it. I have an Offenhauser one, another Offenhauser dual plane that may work on this. All right, we've done everything we can do now, except pull this stuff off because I still have to drain the radiator. So I'm gonna quit procrastinating and do it. All right, radiator's drained, we're ready to get to business. Now, I went ahead and did that for my push rods, keep them in order, and a little box here for the rocker arms. That should be all I need, right? Rocker arms? Yeah. Just to keep them in order. Maybe it's overkill, maybe it's not, but hey, 
I can be a little OC about some things. All right, guys, the moment we've been waiting for, time to pop her lid. And I will tell you, um, she probably wouldn't have made it through the summer without overheating because there's all sorts of crap just clogged up inside of there. There we go. Beautimus. Let me show you this. If you can focus in, look in there. I'll be willing to bet she's all clogged up all through all her passages. All right, let's take a closer look. Yeah, it's a motor. All right, back out. I'll give you a close up while I take this head off, okay? I've already broke loose all of these. I know putting them on, you don't want to use an impact, but taking off won't hurt them. Can't get a good bite on this one, so I gotta be careful. Oh, where's my wobble bit? My buddy asked me today, he go, he's trying to get a toolbox for his son who got his first truck as his first car. And he was like, what kind of things that aren't in a regular toolbox do you think he might need? First thing I said was a breaker bar. I didn't even think about one of these little wobble bits. I don't know what they're really called, those things. But those will save your life. I'll have to call him back and let him know. I remembered something else. What are you waiting for, dummy? Now these are aluminum. I wonder how much they weigh compared to um, regular heads. What is that? Hold on. Oh! Hold on a second. I just knocked something down in here and that would have... It dropped down. I gotta get it because it's a little piece of metal. It looked like almost like a dowel or something that fit in there. <clears throat> Do you know what an idiot looks like? This guy. I got a whole nother row. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Sorry guys. All right, take two now that I've got that other row of bolts done. We'll pretend that didn't happen, okay? Okay. Not to mention, I took out that bottom bolt and <laughs> geyser of antifreeze came out. I thought I'd gotten it all. Nope. So now I definitely cannot let my dogs in here because I got antifreeze all over the floor. Oh yeah, how about that? It moves now. now I want to be careful because I, I don't want to damage the head gasket because this is the one that looked like it was blown and I need to look at it. I have a jug under there now at least so it's collecting some of it. Okay, everything is undone. Undone, undone, undone. So why isn't she coming? There must be a dowel, right? Work her off the dowel, yep. There you go, sweetie. Feels like the dowel came with me. Oh yeah, those are a hell of a lot. Um, lighter. Well, there's antifreeze in the cylinder heads now, but that's because it all just leaked down. Um, trying to look at that one and see exactly where it would have been coming from. I guess right there. I don't see any obvious damage. She's definitely rich. She's all crusty up in there. Definitely still running rich. All right, there's that one. Let me bring y'all around. 
so y'all can see. Let me back you up. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna try and get that head gasket off. Let me get my scraper, and then we will examine it more closely, okay? All right, here's the head gasket. And it's the same orientation way it was on there. And it was leaking from in this area. I don't know specifically where because the whole area was wet on the block. I was assuming right about here. Now I see no visible mar or breaches, whatever the hell you want to call it, in the gasket. I mean, that's a little deteriorated, but I wouldn't think that would leak. But you know, what the hell do I know? So, we continue on. All right, ladies and gents, we got her busted down, okay? All right, there's this side. No damage to that um, header gasket, head gasket. All right, so it is now lunchtime. Well, it's well after lunchtime, but I worked straight through. So now I'm gonna go take a lunch break and we'll come back and we'll clean everything up. Alrighty, good lunch. I spent a little too long eating, but the good news is all of our stuff came a day early. That never happens. Let's see, new thermostat, new fan motor, new blower motor, because that one, the one in here doesn't work. And I believe this is the gasket set. So let's open it and make sure everything works or fits. Head gasket set, yes it is. Made in China, imagine that. What we'll do is we will compare with the head gaskets we already have to make sure everything is copacetic. And then we will clean up, clean the, clean the surface get the heads back on, but I want to clean the heads, I want to clean the intake, I want to do all of that stuff first. Of course the damn dog's got to bark in the middle of everything. That's all of that. Look at that, that's a complete set. Nice. Oh look, it's not cork. Um, It's not cork uh, valve cover gaskets, it's, that's nice. They sent crappy oil pan gaskets, so I'm glad we ordered the other ones. And yeah, all those look good. All we gotta do is pull out the head gaskets. That's the original gasket that was on there. Now I wouldn't say it's original to the car, but it's what was on there. That makes no sense, shut up. This is the new gasket. You notice, it's smaller. It doesn't have this entire area up here, which I thought was weird that it was sticking up earlier. Well, that says made in Canada. This is GM. This is an actual GM part. Huh. But if you look at it, it's, it doesn't have this section up here. I don't know if that makes a difference, but the holes match up except for those top ones. Shit. Uh, where are the heads? Follow me. Actually, let's look at the head down here. And it was right there is where this was. That goes nowhere. So what is it on the head? If it sticks out, be careful, don't drop it. It's nothing, it's a blank spot. There's nothing there. We're good. We're good, they'll work. Yay. All right, now we're gonna start cleaning everything up and get it ready to put back together. It's not gonna go together very quickly because as we're going through this, we're gonna clean stuff, we're gonna paint stuff, we're gonna make it look nice because this engine bay sucks. All right, we got interrupted again because another package came. You can always trust Summit to get you stuff quick, at least for me since 
I'm one state away. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These are the distributor parts, I think, for the other car. Yes. We determined we have a bad distributor. So I ordered all new guts for that one. I should probably just order a brand new distributor. Yep, there we go. Don't ask me what it's called. It is distributor wiring harness. That's the one piece that I haven't replaced. And this one, well, that's where it screws down. Okay, never mind, we're good. Okay. There's your ground. That goes out, plugs into the distributor. We're good. Remember in the last episode, we bought the new ignition module and it still didn't work, so I'm replacing this and now we're gonna see if it works. And, The other rotor cap was cracked. This looks like this has been repackaged. So, we have a new cap and we have a new rotor. Perfect. On the other one, one of these is broken. So, I'm gonna replace any and everything I can to make that sucker work. But for right now, we're on this one. These need to go to the other garage. All right, just for you who actually noticed and were curious, that piece that I dropped into the motor, I got out. It was sitting right on top of one of the, um, the rods, so it would have gotten caught up in something. I mean, granted, it would have been squished into nothing, but it would have caused some damage, I'm sure. Um, I'm assuming this was from the, not assuming, it was from the other head. I just don't remember seeing this in the new one. I mean, it's, it's like a flimsy piece of metal. All right guys, getting a little sidetracked here. I was cleaning this to get all the corrosion that was in, how it was all gunked up. I would say maybe a quarter of the way it was gunked up in here. Um, it did have a 180 um, thermostat in it which is what I'm replacing it with because I thought what was in it was a 190 because the car runs it's hard to tell on that gauge because they're also the numbers are so close but it runs just in between the 200 and then the next lower mark and then occasion when you run hard it hits up to the 200 so I was thinking it needed something lower when it already had it so we'll clean out this block really well before we do anything else um, in all the passages to make sure we get everything that's in there that could be um, jamming it up. The other thing is this thing had orange um, coolant in it and when I got it you couldn't see the coolant in the radiator so I dumped in green coolant. So green and orange I don't know I know you're not supposed to mix them but if you do mix them I don't know what the reaction would be. I don't know if maybe that's what helped deteriorate the head gasket or if it's just it was its time. So, who knows? Anyway, that's your update. All right, we got everything cleaned up. I'm gonna give it another once over once we get everything else done. And what have we done? Um, scrape this down with my super scraper. It's all, well, the surfaces are clean. I still gotta clean all this crap up and then flip it over and clean all that crap. Uh, what else did I do? Um, oh, I used the Kim dip and cleaned up the bolts, cleaned up the housing for the temp sensor and uh, that's probably it yeah I think that's about it so we're gonna wrap it up for today it's starting to get dark out I don't know if you can tell and I'm hungry all right we're back for another brisk morning I have already drained the block checked it out it doesn't seem to be clogged up so drained it out closed it back up sealed it we're good now, last night I did have the epiphany. If I'm gonna break this down this far, then why don't I go ahead and take off the water pump and the timing cover and seal them back up just to make sure that they don't leak. If I'm gonna reseal it, might as well do all of them, right? 
Okay, so that's where we're at. I'm getting ready to drop the um, water pump and then the timing cover. Oh, damn it. That means I got to take those pulleys off too. Okay, another epiphany. So let me get to work because then we got to clean everything. All right, I got the car jacked up, so it's hard for me to reach over the damn fenders. I am only 5'9". I know, I look like I'm really tall, don't I, on camera. Um, what is the best way to get over here? Well, don't have a stool either. I don't want to put weight on the damn fenders. I'm in a step stool, but I do have a regular stool. I am going to put it down to its lowest setting. Ah, that way, not as far to fall. Ah, not happy about this. Something to hold on to. Everything's loose. There's nothing to hold on to. There we go. Ah, break booster. All right, get your foot off the engine. Ah, and in case I haven't said what I'm doing, I'm trying to get the damn harmonic balancer off and I gotta remove the bolt. But every time I turn it, flywheel moves, so I got the impact. Impact made easy work of that. All right. You know what? You stick around. Because now i got to get the harmonic balancer puller. But I want you back on top dead center before we do that. Woo-hoo! Okay, just do it in reverse. Hey. Sort of reverse. All right, ladies and gents, back in I go. I've got the harmonic balancer puller installed. And I have the impact socket I need. Oops. Back to stepping on my beautiful engine. Try not to rip out my new harness down there. And let's hope to hell I have enough room for this. Ah, fudge. I do not. This is going to have to be done by ratchet. Okay, I'm doing this ass backwards. Ah. Ah, look at that, you didn't get to see me fall. All right, that's where we're at. And to let you know, I think it was a good decision to take off the whole front area because I'm looking at the timing cover and it looks like it's leaking right at the very bottom, right where it and the oil pan come together. It looks like that's where it's leaking from. So if I had replaced the oil pan, put this whole thing back together and it was still leaking, I'd have been a little upset. So might as well go through this pain in the ass process just so we don't have to go through that later. All right, uh, let's take the cover off and then start cleaning everything because it's dirty in here all right guys we're done breaking her down that's everything um i'm not i'm leaving the power steering unit there i'm going to clean it off in place i'm going to wrap this motor up so nothing gets in it and then i'm going to start cleaning got to take that cover off still that's some goofy chrome cover that goes around the air conditioning unit and then here are all our parts that need to be cleaned all over here. 
All right. So guys, that's going to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was um, entertaining. I bleeped out as many cuss words as I could. But um, if you would please like the video, um, subscribe if you come if you've come back a couple times already. Please subscribe. Uh, help me grow my channel. It's in it's in its infancy, and uh, I will see you next time. Whatever garage out.